Here we go, so now we're getting better context. It says, cleared mission, the way of the ninja, novice. So I think I can get that in, oops, I'm still on my menu. So dojo, there we go, way of the ninja. So these are just missions that teach you things to have, how to play game, but this is the new thing. Ooh, your reward is a set of shinobi gear, cool. You can only use specified items and equipment in this mission. Ooh, they restrict you. Ah, uh, William, you have come. If you are interested, I would be happy to teach you what I know of the ways of the ninja to you. Oh, I know you are strong, but soon you will face enemies against whom a frontal attack will lead only to disaster. A ninja, however, strikes from behind. Our strength lies in controlling the battlefield itself. Mastering our techniques will make you a greater warrior yet. Let's do this. This dojo is a training ground for samurai, or ninja in this case. It is filled with the blood, sweat, and tears of the uncounted warriors who polish their techniques within its walls. These long traditions and secrets are handed down from generation to generation of samurai. Wow, so I've got nothing on me at first. I'm all in dojo gear. Ooh, it's nighttime out here. That's different. What do I have? Famed ninja's locks. I just get that just for coming here? Neat. You can ready ninjutsu and unreal magic. Oh, this is just teaching me how to do the basic things, isn't it? Oh, are we fighting now? Okay. I was like, something's gonna happen at some point, right? I'm not just gonna do that over and over again. Your friend's down. Kind of just screwing around with what I have available to me. Mission complete. Exciting. We're done now. <laughs> so that was a basic tutorial. We did it! I get ninja locks and gear. You have a knack for this, William. With this level of diligence, pra uh, diligent practice, you will undoubtedly master more difficult techniques. I will impart further secrets another time. Do not neglect your training in the meantime. Okay, so maybe other dojo missions will be more complex, but that first one was basically nothing. Got some title stuff going on here. Reputation points. I've obtained one title. Reputation level one, two. IO prestige points. Uh, Ag Agio. Presti Agio prestige points? One. Okay. So you can spend prestige to affect those stats down there. Amrita earned. Amrita earned. Luck, life. Yokai close combat damage. A bunch of other things. Okay. What is the title based in, I wonder? Title list. So this is my progress towards various goals. I assume I'm gonna scroll down and see what one of these is 100% or something, if I've earned it already. Quiet one. Attack 50 enemies from behind. There we go. Attack 100 enemies from behind. I'm already on my way to that one. Okay. Defeat 50 enemies with martial arts. Okay, there's a whole bunch of different titles to get along the way that will affect my reputation points, which will lead to me getting this. You can gain prestige bonuses by spending prestige points. After selecting one bonus, its entry on the list will be replaced, and you can then choose another. So I can get plus 10 life, 50 durability on living weapons. Ooh. That's cool. Decrease the amount of dam uh, living weapon gauge you lose when taking damage, which is good, because you activate living weapon, uh, for example, to beat on a big boss, and then he hits you, and then suddenly the meter's shorter, and you're like, no. So, yeah, let's go for that. So we get plus 50, and now it's replaced by plus 3 luck as being my next option I can get in that slot. Probably go for more life, too, although 10's kind of crap. So there, at the bottom you can see I have 50 uh, durability of living, living weapon bonus at the bottom, so I need to keep getting more titles if I want to keep getting more stuff from this stuff. What? There's Agyo and Ungyo titles. There's multiple... Huh. This one has gold earned, item drop rate key, human close range damage, damage from fall, toughness. I'm curious. Oh, there's one I'm close to getting. Defeat at 50 enemies with this weapon that I use. That'll be that'll come immediately. Get a bunch of bow kills. I'm guessing this one down here is just do it more. So keep getting bow and matchlock and so on kills. Defeat 100 rogues. So a lot of this stuff feels like it's going to come naturally, but some of these things I have 0% progress on, and I won't know what, it prog what the progress even is based on until I start making progress. Yeah. So a lot of this looks like natural progression stuff that seems to affect your character. That is interesting. Let's check out what I unlocked, though. 
So I just finished the ninjutsu mission, which I may or may not have edited out entirely because it's not, it was just a basic tutorial on how to buy a ninja skill. Okay, so now I can buy I can buy uh, poison shuriken as a skill. I can do blister beetle powders, which does the poison mist. I can now get this one. After throwing a shuriken and pressing the assigned button again, throws another shuriken. So it's just rapid fire shuriken throws, I assume. So now I have access to more of my tree because I just got, went and did that particular thing. Medusa powders. That's the paralyzed powder. Paralysis. There's, there's a fair number of options here. Ooh, explosions. Who well, doesn't like explosions? I like explosions, at least. Yes. Bonus arrow capacity. I want that. I knew there was something waiting in here that I really wanted, and that, that's definitely it. So now I can increase the number of arrows I can carry in bullets and cannons via the skill we just got. You can increase the amount of sacred water carried, power pills, lots of things actually. Let's see, press triangle or square when guarding against an armed uh, human enemy to take their weapon and perform a counterattack. That's the, the hand slap? Yeah, it is. That th that's amazing. Where's the... Yes. The sneak up attack, I can finally get it. Yes. I can get the next one, too? Oh, catwalking scrolls. Let's get the guard skill. Even if I don't use it correctly, at least I'll have the ability to use it. Barehanded attack damage passive. Jeez. Ooh, increases ninjutsu capacity by four. I've made a mistake by not buying that immediately, I guess. It'll cost me two more points, but I can... Oh, wait. He gave me... Uh, he gave me young ninja locks. Oh, it's just one? No, it's just one. Oh, no. That's a bummer. That is a bummer. I thought it'd be like plus three or something. So that's not going to make up the difference. I still need one more point. All right, well, I'll buy that as soon as I can, because obviously more ninjutsu capacity is required so I can buy equip more skills. That's kind of a big deal. Let's see. Uh, let's jump into the next mission. They gave, so there's the main mission here, deep in the shadows, but they gave me a little mini mission here, Death to Bandits. Might as well do this as an interim. It's probably a, it's probably a very small. It's probably a, just a quick uh, mission where you go into a plane or something and kill some dudes. It does, yeah, it doesn't even have Kodama on it. I missed one! Alright. Let's give it a shot. Death to Bandits. Oh, I'm starting over here. Oh yeah, I'm starting, it's, I'm playing level backwards, at least for starters. I don't know if it'll keep going that way. So that's triangle or square while guarding. Interesting. That creates a new problem then, doesn't it? So... My while guarding skill... Not learned, it says. None of these... It says just not learned. That doesn't make sense. I clearly have skills I use while I'm guarding. So I can do that. And that. Oh, I have to be barehanded, don't I? But I can't block while I'm... Okay. Okay, I'm slightly confused about something. Press triangle or square when a guard against an unarmed, uh, an armed human enemy and take their weapon and perform a counterattack. Do you have to be unarmed for this completely? You do. Okay. So I have to be ready to... Do yep. I got everybody clap your hands. <laughs> All right, let's let's give it a shot. How hard could it be? I'm gonna blow it so hard, I'm trying to no hand deflect attacks. Hey, you, just you, please. Ah, shit. Enemy archer. Got him. Hey, you. Notice me. Come on. Did he just completely missed me the first time? Surprisingly, you get 100% block. Well, that's my new ninja skill. That's pretty cool looking. But, uh... Oh, does it work against all weapons? Oh, this is the test. That's a big one. Wait, what? How did that work? 
how did that work? <laughs> how did that, that's not how axes work. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, got my timing wrong. This is super low consequence, by the way. <laughs> so the parry is super low consequence compared to Dark Souls. I just wait. Oops. Because I, I keep messing up, but nothing happens. In a lot of games that have a parry like that, you try to do the parry and you get the timing wrong, you take the sword to the face. But in this game, the block still works. Like, I'll be like, huh, and I'll try to do the parry, but if I miss, it'll just block the attack, because I'm still blocking by holding the button. So, surprisingly, super low consequence, which means I'm much more likely to use it, honestly. Because <laughs> I'm always afraid to do parries in a, a lot of games, because the consequence for getting the timing wrong is so dire that it seems more reasonable to just, uh... Just accept the consequences that, and uh, just just do other strategies. Okay, this guy's actually I'm having trouble figuring out the timing on this one. There we go. I bet you there's a title you get from doing this a lot. <laughs> hey, what's over here? Oh yeah, I can drop down. There's a guy waiting for me up there too. Let's do it. But yeah, uh... I'm always afraid to do the parry in Dark Souls, unless I'm really sure of myself, and basically just showing off. <laughs> That's great. Because uh, if you do it in Dark Souls, you get to take an axe to the face, and then you just die, and that, that's a bad time. Okay, I'm kind of in the middle of a zone where I'm at risk of having a lot of enemies coming from a lot of different directions, so let's be careful. What level are you? 18? Side path? Nope. Hey, you. Hey. Backstab! Oh, that didn't, that didn't work out. Forgot what stance I was in. Oh, that didn't work out. He's dodgy, ain't he? Good for you. There we go. That's more what I was going for. So I went for the backstab, but I did not get the hit him while he's down. That didn't work out. Let's see. Oh, my goal is to defeat the outlaw leader. Okay, he's probably in this direction then. I didn't check the objective. I'm just like, I don't know, those bandits. Looks like the same level again. Let's do it. Hi there. How you doing? Come on. Ah. Alright. Alright, I'm bad at this. There we go. That's such a ridiculously badass attack, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna sit here barehanded and grab your sword out of your out of the air and just stab you with it. Oh yeah, he's probably in the keep up top. Hey there. So the big weapons are higher stakes, I think, because they, they're more likely to break my guard. Supposedly, at least. <laughs> Just kicking him over and over again. <laughs> Unarmed combat's great. Alright, let's give this a shot. This, I might... This might get me in some trouble. Hi there. Oh, he's angry. He's fast. Oh! <laughs> the shuriken. Or kunai. Alright. He doesn't like to rapid attack, that's for sure. Damn. Oh god. Yeah, he's fast. A lot harder to do against a player type character. Ow. Rude. There we go. That does really heavy damage to him, too. Alright, that's enough of that for now, I think. Let's go back to just murdering people with 
my favorite weapon. <laughs> it's just fun to use. Oh, so, sorry, birds. How crowded are we around here? Just you? I really should have attacked you from behind with the attack, but oh well. You made a mistake. Man, that's brutal. Like, just block, avoid the first attack, and then start slicing away for a while. See if they have the gumption to escape from it or not. There's nothing in here. I wonder if he's gonna be in the house or if he's gonna be at like the starting point on the beach. I don't really plan on fighting groups. Thank you. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? Woohoo! Get out. Bad times. Oopsie. Get myself in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, a lot of trouble. Although he was out of stamina too. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I think that they're gonna get more aggressive over time. Some of these earlier enemies are very cautious. Which is very punishable. And that was not my goal. I think I am just playing the entire level backwards during daylight, basically. Oh, the tragedy. Yep. Oh, double miss. Alright. Alright, that didn't work out. Hey. Hey. Oh, really? Thought I had that. Hey. <laughs> Not what I was going for, but okay. Completely managed to strafe around the attack. Not my goal. Gotta stand still when I'm trying to bait them, I guess. You just ran out of stamina, you know that? That's ill-advised. Oh crap, that was a super delayed attack. It seems like an unintentional difficulty thing. That uh, if you just toy with enemies, they kind of just run out of stamina on their own. Which is weird. If I just play around with a guy, he tends to just run out of stamina from, from random actions he's performing. Because he doesn't really manage it. So then I'm just like, oh, you ran out of stamina. I guess I get to kill you now. <laughs> Which is fun. Because it's, it's fun to screw around with somebody like that. But uh, don't know if that's the intended difficulty balance they were going for. I don't think I can get a from-behind attack this way. But maybe I can do this? <laughs> Hit the wall. Down you go. Oh, what was that? Oh, I've got too many bombs, apparently. The Kakyodama? Which one is that? Oh, I've got ten. And it's not mapped right now, is it? No, it's not. I've got the Horokodama. We'll get rid of the stones then. I had a whole type of bomb I didn't realize I was filling up on. Okay. Gotta get those bow kills somehow. Oh no. That was, oh no. I was really going for, the, I, I swear I was going for the head and that was just me trying to do awkward Rapid fire aiming. Uh, he got me two elixirs. How lucky is that? Hi there. Oops. I meant to roll past you. Awkward. Bye. Are you coming this way? No? Oh, crap. That missed. 
came as a surprise. Hey, we got a title for key user. Reputation's been increasing. Can I get it? Nope. I ran way too fast. <laughs> That's such a satisfying finisher. So satisfying. Alright, where's the big bad ha hiding out? Anyone in here? I figured as much. There's a gear in here. Ow. My key. Ow, my key. Really? I can't get the... There we go. Yep, kind of just made that one all available on your own. Interestingly, I'm having trouble doing the execution when he's down with Triangle. It only does the uh, long-range attack. Maybe you can't do that right afterwards, or maybe I've forgotten that I don't have some skill that I need. Ho, ho, ho. Let this be. Yay! Fall off. Oh, no? Not quite. I guess I'll need to fight everyone down there. If he's just going to be down here. Whee! Oh. So I guess he must be up here. Are you the leader? Are you bandit leader, son? Why are you not aggroing? I don't think he sees me. Weird. Quick, is this gonna work? I didn't realize I was this good at being a ninja that I'm like invisible already to people. There we go. And bomb. Yay! Oh, crap! That was a mistake. And then you stagger. And then bad times happen. And then I do a very shameful heal for my mistakes. Yes. Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tried. Mistakes are made. Ow, by the way. Hey there. Are you poisoned yet? I put poison on my weapon, didn't I? Oh, I didn't apply it. I pressed left on the D-pad, but I didn't actually use it. Whoops. <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Shit. Okay, screwing around with this guy's gonna hurt. I gotta be careful. You're really tall. Congrats. Oh, bad, bad idea. I'm really screwing this up. I apparently have no idea how to time this. Damn it. Alright, well, fuck it. That's a bad time, huh? Ooh, there's the one. Oh, that's a bad idea. Yeah, so it's just such a long application time that he's interrupting me while I try. <laughs> um, oh, no. He'll be, he'll be fine. He'll just walk it off. Ta-da! Well, yes, I will take all of this stuff. Thank you. Oh, wait. No. I missed one, apparently. There we go. Prayer beads are mine. Alright. Probably went slower than I needed to, but it was kind of fun to screw around. And mess with the new mechanic we just learned for, uh, from the dojo progression. Marvelous work, just as I expected. The villagers were overjoyed. They certainly have met with a string of misfortunes of late. Let us hope this was the last. Can I level up again? I can, probably twice, actually. How about a couple points into decks? Would that help? Probably, yeah. Let's keep pumping points into, points into decks for a little bit longer. There we go. How's my maximum jutsu going? I have 12 capacity, nice. Let's see if I can... 
go further into that. I always mix those up. Ninja! I have six points, good. Boom, four more capacity. Next one requires some unknown mission in the future before I can get it. Okay. Still, got more ninjutsu capacity from that. That's good. That means we're even more capable of, of uh, ridding jutsu. Yep, 16. At that point, I can practically do all of them. Yeah. I can, out of my current setup, I could do shuriken, kunai, poison on my weapon, and fire. Which means I might want to consider buying new things, because now I actually have the ability to equip said things. Oh yeah, title progress happened, so I have another point to spend. Ah, last time was Agyo, this time was Ungyo. Was it the... yep? Kusar, Kusar, Kusarigama progress. And yeah, the next one's going to be... 10, of course. So do I want to have... Bonus damage against humans of 0.5%. Two ninjutsu power, one key, or 0.5 reduced damage, fall damage. Jesus. These are about as minor as they could possibly be as far as bonuses go. Yep. I guess ninjutsu power. There we go. Elixir effect on life recovery. I want that in I want that to be higher, yes, but 0.5. Eh. <laughs> Ready to Iga style the Horkodama. They explode and cause great damage. Three poison shuriken. Trying to expand my options here. Okay. So you can do three Iga style or... Well, they're both Iga style, but... Kayaku or Horku. So damage and great damage. It's a big punch, but it costs... Why does, it K Why does it say cost is going to go from 4 to 8? Is something equipped right? Oh, the kunai. There we go. I was like, why am I not at 0? So, I want poison shuriken. Because I, I, I like the idea of being able to apply poison to an enemy. Although, only having 3 is a little rough for actually getting the effect to go off. Then, poison on a weapon. Rokodama. It might be... And, I guess... Do you want Kayokodama or shuriken at that point? 7 shuriken versus 3 more bombs. I'm going to go with more bombs, I think. Alright, so now my main weapons are going to be Poison Shuriken, Poison Animal Weapons, and two bomb variants to throw at people. Alright, I went ahead and used the Reforge, or Refashion mechanic, to change my appearance a bit. Still using the Sanada set, but I changed it to various rogue-ish looking things. I wanted to use the Shinobi set as an appearance. I can't use the actual Shinobi set, or at least it's not, it doesn't make sense quite yet to use, because it apparently has a skill requirement, which is not the stat that... That, that the entire uh, thing is built around because it's dexterity items. Uh, it's a dexterity spec, but the items that you get from it are apparently not based that way. You need you need to get skill and body to use them, so that's, that's what's going on there. So I'm not going to wear those yet. And apparently I can't make my character look like he's wearing that stuff at all. Uh, I think it might be because I haven't played a mission yet since I unlocked them via the dojo or something. The set bonus obtained by wearing various pieces of equipment favored by Sonata of Yoshima. You can view the details about the set bonuses using left L2. There's set bonuses in this game? Oh. 16% final blow damage, 5 key, 12% skill damage, 25% critical. What's it say? Close combat attack. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I can level these pieces of equipment up to make them higher level. Right now they're average level 6. So if I were to level them up to being higher level gear, would they have better bonuses? Okay. That's worth considering. Having a whole, whole set clearly has bonuses. Okay. So uh, yeah, you, use, you do that at the uh, blacksmith, by the way, if you haven't seen that. You do... No, not reforge. You do refashion, and you click on a source item, and then click on an, a... whatever you want it to make it to look like. It has to be the same category of item or weapon. And you can change what the appearances of things are. So that's cool. That way, if you get a super rare, really cool looking weapon, you can make your other weapon look like that, that technically has better stats, if you're switching to something else. And I like that idea, that's neat. Next mission is Deep in the Shadows. Welcome, Hanzo. It is good of you and your friend to come. Sir William, was it? 
I am told that you have a certain measure of skill in dealing with yokai and monsters. It is with these abilities in mind that I have a favor to ask. My son, Nagamasa, has gone off to defeat a band of rogues, and I have not heard from him since. I would go to his aid myself, but my body is not what it once was. Will you go and save my son in my stead? In the north of Kyushu, beneath the mountains of Nagatsu, lies a complex warren of limestone caves created by eons of erosion. Both rogues make their home in its shallowest levels, but even they fear to tread into its, deep, into its deepest depths. Cat clock. Anzo's ways are curious indeed. Naga masato mo sumo no no shigure no kehai wa yoku shite oru zo. Even cats speak in these lands. Washi ga tsuke yaro. しかし I feel like William is accepting of many things. <laughs> Some absolutely crazy stuff has happened to him over the course of this thing, and he's like, yeah, alright, I am now accepting this too. <laughs> and I will continue to accept things, and I'm not sure if I should. So he's possessed us, but he's not our guardian spirit? Nope, we still only have Diabawashi. Only one option for now. Alright. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love when this is given as an option. The, uh, the no delay on block spamming. Okay. So I now have four different attack type items. So I have to, it'll take a little bit of uh, careful management, but I've got to deal with the idea that now I have those mapped to one screen, and then another screen is... Well, two bombs also, but uh, my antidote and my elixir. So if I want to heal, I have to hit this bumper to switch to it. But I'm keeping this open for all my different projectile things for funsies. Hi. How you doing? That didn't work out for you? Oh no, your stamina. I'm so sorry. This is what I was talking about earlier. I'm like, these people just exhaust themselves. Not gonna last that way. Oh, he, he got up fast enough to block it. There we go. Hey, this thing, this thing murders. <laughs> I love this weapon. Oh, that's already open. That's not. Did you guys miss one? I like the detail that I rolled haphazardly and knocked something over, so the light went out, and the whole room just visually looks immediately way different. It's a cool detail. I like it. Anyone coming my way? Hello? Ah. I can take advantage of this. Oh, crap. I made a mistake. I forgot to I forgot to let go of my blocking button, so I tried to do my I tried to do this attack instead. Whoops. Yeah, blocking is really good for moving slowly. I'm noticing, 
So that's probably how I'll stealth at people instead of trying to awkwardly... Instead of trying to awkwardly lean the joystick at, sp at certain speeds. So just so you guys know, I am aware that I can do that. I can use the joystick and just be all careful with it and just barely lean it and that would work too. But if blocking is going to do the same job, then that's better. Because I don't have to deal with, the f with how finicky I happen to be at the particular moment on that. And I can just be all like, I have proper aim. I have proper aim. This is why I shouldn't say things while I'm doing action sometimes. I literally couldn't- I just automatically said aim because I was aiming a bow and that had nothing to do with the sentence I was saying. <laughs> Fall over. There we go. What I mean is that I- it's a- uh, the blocking- the blocking walking is so reliable that there's no reason to bother with other options really. He'll be fine. God damn, Bo is not to be trifled with in this game. There we go. Give me a moment, I'm gonna look around in here. Interesting how consistently there's one looted box and one unlooted box. Whoa. Your attack can destroy everything in the room except the, uh... Oop. Are you alive? You are alive. Oh, he woke up. Oh, there's a Kodam on there. Hi there. Whee! They certainly give you some uh, satisfying kills. For the executions. I just hit my maximum on my elixirs. Interesting. I could have sworn in the prologue they let me get to 20, and then it, uh, and then it stopped letting me pick any more up. Now I hit 8 and it sends them to my storage. I knew that that would happen. That it would send overflow to my storage once I had a storage, which I did not have in the prologue. But I did not... But I didn't really notice that they were going to change the cap. It's interesting how the prologue gives you a, a cap of 20. But the, uh... But this gives you a cap of 8. Makes sense. 8 sounds like a more balanced number than 20. Although Dark Souls got pretty ridiculous at one point, where eventually you could get, you could get up, up to 20 yourself. It appears to be locked. Well then, why don't we go find a key? Is this locked? It is not- Ah! Ah, 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 ah. Man. Headshots are no joke in this game. Out of stamina? Yeah, you are. Well, I thank you for this overabundance of healing items. Oh crap, it's poison. Alright, I gotta I'm gonna have to default to this page instead and switch to the other page when I wanna use it. Cause I'm gonna I'm totally gonna reflexively hit the healing button, so I should stay on the healing page. Hey there. <laughs> Got a tutorial character wandering around with me. How weird is that? Rar. Ah. You like that? I was slightly concerned when he when it went all crazy. Yeah. So the, so you do a skill with the same color as his eyes, unless you threw. This is quite a shortcut, actually. Good chance to get free kills with my bow for that for that title. Oh, unsuccessful. An attempt is made though. <laughs> An attempt was made. How many how many shots do I have? Eight. Right. Well, they're gonna come up here, so clearly there's a connecting path. Hi there. There we go. Num- Oh! Oh no. I made a mistake. Block that. There we go. A, uh, series of mistakes were made. Oh, cool. He happened to have the key. And he came to me. How convenient is that? I don't even have to do that much backtracking now. 
I've got to check, right? There's hopefully no explosive barrels in here or something, but uh, I've got to check just in case. Oh, rifle ammo's maxed out. All right, I better start shooting people then. If I'm apparently maxed out on that, huh? Yeah. Wow, my rifle ammo cap is super low. Okay, gonna have to just mix it up. Don't want to waste all my stuff. So many bombs, too. So, apparently those are maxed out right now at 10 and 5. That's the most I can carry of either of those types of bombs. Might as well start using them, then. I can make my own, but that's no reason to not make... <laughs> you're on fire. You're not, you're not doing so great now, are you? He'll be fine. No, he won't. <laughs> His head just goes flying. Alright, so now I can go pick up some of those items. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hey, little guy. I love those guys. I love that they are collectible... That affects how many healing items you get from shrines. Like, that's that's cool. Because it's a good way of incentivizing exploration. I like having additional things that incentivize exploration added to games. Because, uh... Oftentimes the only uh, reward is loot. And loot can be good. But, if you uh, already found... Oh, I should have shot him too to use up the rifle ammo. Uh, loot can be a good incentive. But, uh, if you already have good loot, or all the loot just doesn't happen to be the type of item you'd want, then it kind of doesn't amount to a whole lot. And that's kind of a bummer. I'd, uh... But elixir, that's like a universal thing. Like, oh, if I go down in combat, like, that determines how many, uh, elixirs I get from the shrine. That's a big deal. There we go. That's an especially good deal because uh, generally every level is you building up towards a big boss fight, and so if you fight that big boss and you don't ha and you aren't and you're having trouble, then it's good to have more healing items being given to you for each attempt, without having to farm for them, of course, which is something I prefer to never do. So this is the chamber they were in when I fought them. When I started shooting at them from up there. I was right up there. And they all came charging at me from over here. Is there something in here? Is it just the dead guy? Oh, he probably he probably thought he was going to run away. And he probably ran into a dead end. And then he was totally screwed. Come on out, everybody. I've got some bullets to burn through. So I can, pick that, so I can go back to picking them up. Ow, ow, ow. Oh. I see. Ah, did I miss again? There we go. Hey! Sharpshooter Samurai. Oh! That was mostly a blind fire. I wasn't really aiming that time, but it worked out. Here's the crank. Oh, yeah. And now I've got a little ledge up there waiting for me. It's haunting me, so... So it's time to backtrack. Oh, wow. My stamina actually allows me to run for a fairly long time. That's not the right way. Oh, wait. But rifle ammo. I've used it now. Haha. -ha. Ha 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 ha. I got one from that. But I used like four or something. So we're down to three. Might as well use it as we... Ah. You can turn around. There, that's the right exit. Get up top. Might as well use it when I've got it. And my reward is... A regular old bandit axe. And another whetstone for the collection.